Hi all, welcome to a game called Machinki. This is kind of like a, a train simulator where you uh, transport goods from one place to another and you're going to build train tracks and stuff like that. We'll get into it in a moment. This is by a developer called Jan Zeleny. It's around about £19, $25 and it came into early access in October of 2018. So I've played this a little bit and I hate the music by the way. It's really annoying, but uh, we'll go for a new game. I'm just going to leave all these settings as they are, because I've only played a little bit. I'm not the best train track builder if you've ever watched any of my uh, other playthroughs of... I'm not going to say similar games, but like um, Workers and Resources, I wasn't the best train builder in that. This isn't a city building game. It's more of a transport moving of goods from one place to another and then you get resources so you can then build more train tracks and everything else so right at the start you will get um, certain things to do so you can get the grips with it but early steam age so once we progress we will get um, some tokens and stuff this is kind of like uh, I believe it was wood like um, I don't know if it's going to hover over that one's cool that one's like wood. So, welcome to Machinki. Give you a little bit of uh, information on it. Get 10 quid. And now you get. Um, I quest that that that, uh, the, that uh, tree's annoying the crap out of me. Stop chopping things. Just move over here. So, you get certain quests that reward different things. At the start, it's just telling you how to do. So, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, use them mouse button, uh, the middle mouse button to rotate the screen, uh, press and hold the right mouse button to drag, and happy days. So here it says, well done, Machinki, you can collect various tokens such as money, wood, coal, and iron. It's also something else I can't remember what it was. Um, well done, you've completed the task, try the other terrain tools too, and then collect your reward. So you've got two views you've got like the realistic view so you can like the pretty view and then the build mode which is pretty much what we're going to spend most of our time in and we don't need to worry about those uh, thingy tools I can't even remember where they were Oops, can't wait. B <laughs> I think it's in the bulldozer, yeah. So you've got like a higher and lower terrain, knock it out, and uh, all the other juicy goodness. So open a stamp window when you can, where you can browse existing layouts or create a new one. So that's this stamp tool here, and you get like different kinds of um, uh, train tracks to do stuff. I kind of don't really like to use these yet because I don't really know what I'm doing. You can change certain settings before you uh, start building the map which um, say for these uh, stations here like the, the terminals you could uh, damn it, come back. you could have them so you need to have train tracks that loop around and come back or you can just have them so that your train goes in and magically turns around I would recommend magically turn around at first because it's just easier that way and as we need to place one of these, I'm going to chuck it probably down at one of these coal mines for now. I can't remember how to rotate these. Right, middle mouse button rotates that thing. Let's uh, roll in and just stick it right there. Coal mines, you generally need a lot of uh, stuff for that. Uh, down on the bottom left hand corner is your current um, uh, like assignments that you need to do. We're just going to follow these for now. So, we've placed our uh, uh, terminal thing and now we need to uh, go from one place to another. One town there to this town here. I probably should have just put this um, terminal in somewhere else but it, it doesn't matter so we need to go to our train tracks down the bottom grab a station 
and then place the station so you just left mouse button drag and build you can only build it six spots for now as um, well that's the limit you can uh, do more later on when you can upgrade your um, uh, stations and stuff but we'll get into that a bit later on so we just want to connect these two up that was uh, dreadful let's uh, not do that and this one up. I like to try and keep them as straight as possible because I'm pretty dreadful at building tracks and connecting stuff right so now that we've connected station A to B or 1 to 2 it's now telling us to get a demo so it's nicely little flash in there so we'll grab one and as with most depots you'll want to put it somewhere on the track so this will automatically do two ways one in and out so that is what we'll just put down for now we need to grab a train and it's telling us which ones to pick at the minute so we'll just grab that and then it's also telling us to get three one, two, three. So that's happy days. And now it's telling us to go from A to B, from one place to another. So to do that, we grab our little train window. So if you ever lose these, just go to your depot, click on your train, and then you can uh, click on orders, little plus sign there, go from there. And then what would be nice is if this plus would just continually work rather than having to uh, click on it again but it, that's just a minor inconvenience and it's perfectly fine so once we've done that we click on the little start button and our train should then go out you can click uh, down here and pick, pick whichever uh, speed you want to go or you can use the one two three four buttons on your uh, keyboard Four is the faster speed, and then one is pause. So we collect, uh, we've connected that up now, we can collect our juicy goodness, and now we need to transport 50 passengers from there to there. So you can just leave this to do its own thing for now. So it's best to uh, put it on maximum speed so this does a lot quicker. So we've got seven out of 50 so far. This will go up here, and uh, after this is done, we're probably going to have to. I think it was uh, transport wood to uh, sawmills. The sawmill down here is one there. Early stages, I think it's probably best to separate things up. So, like, have uh, uh, cities to cities, and then try and have separate tracks and separate depots for um, wood to other places. If you're fantastic at building um, train tracks and using signals, then you could really do a better job than I do, because I'm uh, not so good. Right, this sh hopefully should be our last um, stop to get this. Yes, right, we've got it. So here we need to transport, um, let me introduce myself, I'm a Jack, whatever the hell that is. Uh, our company plans to invest in the development of local industry that's why I contacted you first we need to deliver logs to our soul mills forests are all around us so you should have no problem finding them if you succeed we will pay you well and we might oh, wait there, I just want to pause it a second we might uh, what was that? <laughs> we will pay you well and we might have more work for you so the more of these you do the better so we've got sawmill. Oh, oh, we've got a forest here. Now I've never had a forest on the side of um, on the side of uh, uh, like a, a city before, and I generally don't have cities this big either. So this kind of uh, works out really well because we've got a sawmill down here. So we will grab our forest from there and take it to this sawmill. We could just do it from this side in there, but I kind of want to get into signals straight away and have them double trains, so 
this will be uh, a good chance to show that as well so as we have a station already up near our forest we'll put a station down here you don't have to do them six but you might as well because you'll just have to build more later on and then we will do train track and we'll just make it nice and messy and put it there now for the signals that's just this one here I'm not even gonna entertain those yet because uh, I need much more practice to get those and we only want one track uh, train on this track at a time so when they go into there or go into there then the other one can uh, come out and go into use this track and if there's already one on this track then they'll have to wait so oops don't want to do that so we need another train so we'll just grab the same porter again and then we want just logs so let's grab three uh, you can expand these just by dragging and clicking and it gives you the total length of the train so you could just buy more and more until this is actually full but as we're uh, we've got plenty of gold I mean uh, money so here we go it's gone red now so we'll just take one off I'll just keep that because we will be using more later on right now that we've got that we'll grab our engine click on that to bring him up and go orders we want you to go to there as it, we only have uh, log wagons it will pick logs up rather than people and then we want you to drop them off there now I'm going to wait until this train has been and gone back into there I mean we could just send it away let's let's go I'm just wondering whether it will uh, leave no it's not going to so that that's nice it works really well on um, stopping your trains like uh, just causing trouble and knocking into each other but on occasion it can cause bother so this one over here should be blocked now so no one can go into there and this one can't go out and hopefully when he comes down here and drops our logs up over there when he goes past here this train should then be able to go back up it probably be better if we there we go works lovely probably be better if we could just run another little track along the, the side of here and go into there and then connect it up here somewhere that way the trains will be just uh, coming up and going down easy peasy but we'll leave it like that for now it's fine right so logs so we've delivered 35 already let's make it go as fast as possible do one more and then I'll call it for it this time I, I kind of like this game I'm not sure it's worth the 20 pound I haven't been as far but uh, like that far into the game but it does get quite complicated so if you really like uh, let's say model train sets and like organizing them and bit of rearranging tracks and stuff like that then I think this game is probably something you'll really like don't want to compare to any other train games because as I say I've not really played them I kind of want to play transport fever at some point just to see what that's like but um, I've got plenty of other games to play at the moment but uh, I, I do like this I hate the music <laughs> really 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 hate the music but you could just turn it off I mean, I'm gonna leave it on for now just just so you can hate it as well Right, so this should be our last, our last uh, thing in there. So eventually you'll be able to go into extensions, build waiting rooms and um, everything else. You can also click on this and go into extensions and you can have more trees. You can even make uh, the turned corn logs into like more stuff like that. That, that's for a later date. I thought. Uh, right, so that's just, just passengers. Right, so when he drops in there, this should be this finished. Uh, 
There we go. Get our money. Now, everything's going... Well, let's pause this a second. Everything's going perfect. Uh, great even. Our bosses are happy and that's quite rare. I hope it stays like this for a long time. If you're interested, I have another offer for you. Our sawmills are producing more timber than our horse-drawn carriages can handle. And our warehouses are almost full. We need you to connect our sawmills and local tool works by rail to speed up the transport. So now, we need another train. To take from the sawmill our uh, new bits of wood, so our planks, up to this thing, so we can change it into uh, actual coins that we can then spend on various things. So let's grab the station and put it there, grab a train track, put it there. Now I could just make another uh, grab another train maybe build a track over or just wait for it to go through but for the sake of simplicity and we'll eventually have more trains over here <laughs> excuse me over here I'm just going to build another depot now I don't want to put it there I kind of want to put it here and then we'll connect um, our tracks up. Oops, that's not how I want that. So we'll bring it out a little bit, swing it round to there, and then maybe see if we can. No, that's not going to look good. Do something like that. Now that's uh, beautiful and dreadful. Now the only problem is if we put in another, oops, uh, I don't want that. If we put another train here to come into there and swap, uh, take turns coming in and out of this one, we're going to need two more signals. So where were signals again? We'll put a signal there and a signal there, so that only one train can be into that platform at once. The other way we could just add another platform and just uh, disconnect this track and go into there, and then they wouldn't have to wait for each other. But at the moment, we'll just do that. Oops. <laughs> Don't like that. Right, engines, another one. We then want wagons, we want wood. Oh, that's too many. Right, let's take that off there. And then, we can come back to our little thing, go orders. I want you to go to there, pick up some logs, and then drop them off there. So the more trains you put on this, the more complicated it's going to get. So let's start him up, press 4, to speed it lovely, lovely up. Now he's going to jump into there, so that one's blocked, and hopefully this one will be fine. And then that's clear, so once he's passed there, the little signal turns to green, so we can go in. So anyone can go in now. beautiful so you can see how complicated this will get eventually we could even can start connecting our uh, coal works up here I'm gonna leave that for now so we still got plenty of planks but I think we're probably going to need another forest dropping stuff off just to keep this fully into work. So let's slow it down a little bit. I don't want to stop it because we want to keep it uh, going. So we'll have another station on this forest here. Then we can bring this down. And then, oh god. Uh, can we do a little bit of that and then we could connect this one up as well? Come on, you know you want to. No, you don't want to. Let's do it like that first. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's take a little bit of this track away. 
and then we'll try and connect this up first. And then maybe we can. Oh God. Um. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Let's uh, take this out. So you could make this a whole lot better than what I'm doing here. Right. Lovely. Not really. Um. Well, this isn't actually the best because it's going to come out of here and go over to this one first, but uh, it's fine. So as we put another one here, we then... Okay, have I done something wrong here? I think I have, because we're getting blocked up. So we'll have to put one like that. Right, that's nice. That's how it, it's working good now. Right, now let's grab a train. <laughs> Grab another one. Keep an eye on your gold, because I usually forget to do that. And we want wagons. We just want logs. And we want. Let's go five. And then I'm going to tell it to go here first. And then go to there. Just so it comes around this way, or it'll probably go around that way. And that'll come down this way. Hopefully. We'll see. I'm sure it's probably going to get... Uh, do some weird crap here. We might have to put another station in. Uh, do you know what? I think we might need... Another signal. Let's speed it up now. To see if this works. Okay, he's going around that way, that's great. And you're going to there. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're stopping. Now you can go in. Now, what I don't want is him to come this way. Which he hasn't. That's good. Because he wouldn't be able to get around there anyway, so that that's... That's that's great. If I was to put like a connection going from there up to there, then he might decide to come round this track. Well, that's fine for now. Right, we completed. Have we completed? Yes, we completed. No, we haven't. But we can build some coal. So I'm going to do this, and then I think we'll call it. If you would like to see more of this, then. Uh, Drop a like or something like that, and uh, or leave a comment, and I'll uh, continue recording some uh, more episodes. I'm a busy man, I don't have time to mess around. The demand for coal from Toolworks is. Whoops, let's, uh, let's pause that sound. Demand for coal from Toolworks for, from Toolworks increasing. I have a number of mines with rich seams. I want you to transport it to them as quickly as possible. I don't care how you do it, you won't regret it. Get on with it. He muttered something and left. Well, he's a bit of a butt munch, isn't he? Right, so call to Toolworks. Right, you can see how uh, messy it's getting now. So I'm going to do this call, or this call, to. Oh, that's a call mine. Uh, okay. We can do this call mine over to here and we could probably just get another track train from here going up maybe <laughs> this is gonna end in tears um, do you know what because I think it will end in tears I'm going to add another station instead oh, let me do this right Right, so we'll do it like that. Come round the back side of this thing, right through there, right in. Thingy patch. And I'm going to change this around. Get rid of uh, all of this. And then we can take uh, signals off. And they can do what they want there. So 
so that's connected. Now we need to be able to get um, this over there. So I could expand that, but I think I'll just cheat a bit and do it like this. Now, I've messed up there, because I kind of want to connect this and then it can go onto any track. So if we do put back in what we took away, but we need signals. I can't remember how to do these. I think it's something like that. And we need signals here because this, these tracks cross don't think I needed that one in but th that'll do and then we can your wagon no we want a train wagons coal so here we can buy it with a wood or we can buy it with uh, our money they both have different limits and stuff like that as we still have plenty of money I think we'll just Grab a few of those and have that. And then we'll grab our train. I want you to go to Coal Works and then to the Till Works. Ah, off you go. Right, let's see if this works. Okay, crossing working badly. Let's um, <laughs> get rid of that one. So he, he has to wait to get across. The other one can just go in and out as much as he likes. I think we might need to put a signal there. No. Okay, that's balls. Um, get rid of that one. Okay. Don't know what to do with that. It's a little bit weird. I probably just messed it up. But... Uh, we're, we're in now, so it, it doesn't matter. We can keep going. And that looks like it's working. So that's fine. I'm sure that's not going to work, but whatever. I could, uh, actually, I could just build a bridge there or something, rather than uh, waiting for it to mess up. Okay, what have we got here? Um, let's uh, slow down a little bit. I am constructing a forest near that one. Okay, we'll do that just now. Delivery is not quite done. Coal is underway. Subsidy, uh What? One at least six vehicles. Okay, so we, we can just buy another one when we get that. So I think we're gonna as they have their own like uh, trains and stuff, as we're gonna be making plenty of that. Like, Kind of, uh, so we've still got plenty of money. We'll just buy one of those, right? So that's our train stone. Thank you very much. And then we'll just leave that in there until we need to do something. So I think I'm going to leave it there. If you would like to see more of this and my haphazard, terrible train building skills, oh, by the way, there we go, then uh, please drop a comment or a like, and I may continue doing this. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.